Hey Manifestors, it's Manifestation Dude here and I'm excited to share this with you today. It's the basics, the basic takeaway from the book The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. It's just a, a quick summary and there's a, you can read the book. I would suggest you read the book. I'm actually put a, a link up there to the audio book as well, which is really good. So that's here on YouTube. You can click that there and listen to that. It's only a little bit more than an hour long, but I would suggest listening to that and living by these principles. Okay, so first agreement is be impeccable with your word. So what does that mean? With your word, your word is has the power to create everything that you want in your life also has the, the power to destroy everything in your life. How does that tie into some other things I've spoke to, spoken about before? Number one, the power of your subconscious mind by Dr. Joseph Murphy talks about this. A lot of things talk about the power of your mind going back through to as far back as the Kabbalion, okay? The universe is mental. It's all in your mind. So your word is what you speak to the universe, okay? So you have that intention. When you speak a word out to the universe, that is what you're saying that you want manifested in your life. So that being said, be impeccable with your word means an impeccable, as Don Miguel Ruiz uh, defines impeccable in, in the book, is that impeccable means not to sin against yourself. So if you use your word, if you use your intention in your word against somebody else, that comes back to you. And it, vice versa, if you put out unconditional love to the universe, that's what comes back to you. So being impeccable means that you don't sin against yourself. So you're always speaking good words, not only to yourself. And a lot of people say really negative things to themselves. I, for one, have done that a lot of my life, negative self-talk. When you start to become aware of your self-talk, let's just say, for example, you're doing the dishes or vacuuming or doing something where you're not really thinking. What are you actually saying to yourself? If you're getting ready in the morning, you know, you're looking at your, yourself in the mirror, do you go, oh my God, my hair looks horrible. God, I look fat. That is not being impeccable. That is sinning against yourself. You're saying negative things about yourself and that's only going to serve you in, in the wrong way when you go out into the world then you're going to be thinking bad about yourself. And then you're going to project that onto the world. And it's just this never-ending cycle. So, the first agreement is the most important that he says in the book. If you can live by that one agreement, that is like 75% of the whole thing. Or maybe it's that's one ag agreement, one and two, is like 75% of the whole thing. But agreement two is don't take anything personal. So if somebody says something bad against you, somebody, you know, say you're, you're, you, you wear a new dress or something to work and somebody sees your new dress or your new suit or new shirt or whatever, and they go, oh my God, that's ugly. And that looks terrible on you. And if you take that personally, then what you're doing is you're agreeing to that negative talk. So by you taking something like that personally, you're taking it on, you're believing it, and you're owning that, what they say. Also, and this really struck me as like an aha moment, was that even if somebody gives you a compliment, don't take it personal. What they are doing is they're projecting their own life and their own ideas onto you. So, if they're projecting negativity to you, then and you take that personal, what you're doing is you're taking their negativity on. They're projecting their negativity onto you and then you're owning that. So don't take anything personal. And he said, if, the, if you can follow those two agreements, then that's 75% of what he calls living heaven on earth. 
and you've got to agree with that is that if you can just live by those two the poison that people shoot at you or that you think you're going to start to shoot at yourself it will just it, it will just bounce off of you so i hope you'll take those on board but let's get on to agreement number three is don't make assumptions so when you make assumptions about something either somebody does or something somebody either says, you're assuming that what they mean is either bad or good. So someone can give you a certain look, someone can say something that doesn't really mean what you think they say. They could even, in fact, not be saying anything. You could be waiting for a phone call from them or waiting for an email. And for whatever reason, that's delayed in some way, but you're making assumptions on why they're not either phoning or emailing. And so by you starting to make assumptions, you're putting a judgment on that whole thing. So you can see where making assumptions will cause you to look either one way or the other. You can either look at it bad or good, but again, it's an assumption. It's, it's, it's your interpretation of whatever's going on that will form your mood and your emotion around something. So a lot of times we find out what we assume is totally incorrect. And so if you don't make assumptions, you just go by the fact. And in order to do that, you have to ask questions about something. Don't make assumptions, okay? And then on to agreement number four is always do your best. What he means by that is if you wake up in the morning and you know what you have to do, you just do your best at whatever that is. And one of my biggest ahas from that is say you wake up tired or sick, so you're not feeling well, but you know you have to do something. So doing your best means that you do your best at whatever that is that you know you have to do. But it is the doing something. If you don't do anything, that is not doing your best. But if you do your best, even though your best when you're sick or you're tired won't be as good as when you've got a lot of energy or you're feeling really like, you know, pumped up and healthy, they won't be the same. They, they'll be a little bit different in that level of bestness. But if you do your best, then you at least know that you have done your best. You've lived by that agreement. Okay? So you've, you've, remained impeccable to your word. You've said that I'm going to do something and you've done your best at it. So then you're in agreement with the first agreement, which being impeccable to your word. So I found that really helpful be because doing your best, sometimes people think that doing your best is like, you know, always lifting the same amount of weights or like always running farther than you did the day before. Well, it doesn't mean that. It just means doing your best on that day. And that gives you a little bit of grace so that you know that, okay, that's fine. I didn't run, you know, 10K today because I'm a little bit sick. I'm tired. I ran 7K. But today, that was my best today. So... I hope that really helped you. Again, to, to just to wrap all these things up, is that you are not always going to be able to live by those four agreements. Some days you'll be better than others. Some days you won't be impeccable. But the number one thing is don't beat yourself up. If you can, if you can take away one thing out of all of these things is never beat yourself up over any of these things. If you don't live by all four of those, or if you fall down on one of them, get back up on the horse. Keep going. 
You know, if, you, if you're learning how to walk and you fall down, you get back up. You learn how to ride a bike, you fall off, you get back up on the bike. You just keep going. And by keep, by, by, by keeping on trying to do this, you will eventually get better and better and better. But if you stop and you beat yourself up, that's going to set you back. That is not being impeccable to your word. So if you can do anything is to say to yourself, you're going to live by these four agreements and be impeccable to that word, which is what I'm going to try and take on board. And I can't believe I've only just figured out this book now. I don't know how long the book's been around, but it's such a really, really simple book to absorb and a simple book, I think, to live by. And um, I hope you guys will take that on board. And I hope this video helped you guys. Um, really appreciate you watching this. And if you did like it, please hit like and subscribe so you get more videos on kind of, you know, I do at least one, well, I try to do one every day, I'm trying to be impeccable with that. But usually it's about six a week. So like, it's a lot of, it's a lot of stuff. So I'm trying to bring everything that I'm learning to you to help you and you help me and we help each other evolve and become our best selves. So thank you very much. See you guys again soon. Peace and love.